Hello everyone, welcome back into this tutorial on WebLogic application server. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to start the WebLogic server. In recent tutorial, you might have seen how to install the WebLogic application server, then how to create the domain. Also, we have seen how to create manage server and admin server within the domain. In today's tutorial, we are going to see what are the commands to start the WebLogic server and how to access WebLogic admin console. So let's start today's session. We are going to start the WebLogic server on Windows system. The commands are quite similar in Unix as well. So if you notice, we are starting command prompt with a, as an administrator right. Then we have to go to the the directory where we have created our domain so the domain directory is within weblogic under users project there is a domains we have the weblogic domain that is wls underscore domain we have to go to the bin directory so let me copy that path use the command prompt command to change the directory So here you will find so many uh, commands to st uh, start the node manager, to start the web logic, etc. So you have to make sure we are starting the web logic. Here is the command start weblogic.cmd. Press enter button. Very first thing it will say, it will check for the JDK and other corresponding properties. The, the X xms and xmx these are the memory related properties are also defined for the weblogic application server the other configuration such as class path and path is getting loaded so whatever you configure at your system level configuration will be applicable here so if you see the server st state change to starting the other configuration such as realm jmx also getting appropriately started now i can see server state change to running that means our server is able we can able to access but what is the port so if you see it's, it's iiop port is 7001 and if you remember when we configure our admin server we gave the port as a 7001 so these are the properties we configured 7001 for the admin server i have also configured the host file with the my my system name pointing to the local host so let's try to access so local host 7001 console that is admin console The username and password we already captured in last session. The so username is weblogic and the corresponding password. There is no restriction to what we need to set for the username and password. But however, during the installation, we need to set this. At the console, you can see weblogic server administration console 12c. So this is applicable to 12.2.1.2. So the similar kind of console you might have seen for the other weblogic administration console. At the left hand side you can see the domain name WLS domain. Then we have domain partitions, environment, deployment, services, security realm, interoperability, diagnostic etc. So our projects normally will go in the deployments. Currently there is no deployment. But if the if any application is we need to deploy, then we have to use this section. We'll we will explore all this section as we proceed further. So if you see, whenever you make any activities here, like suppose if I expand this domain partition, the similar activity will be registered in your log files. So if you are accessing some any component, that component will be logged 
here as per the logging mechanism of the weblogic application server so by this way you can actually start the weblogic server so this is very basic step there are various other components we will see in our upcoming session so this is very short but very informative video if you are going to learn the weblogic at very first time thank you for watching my video and have a nice time